Hi, I'm Steve Greb. Jazz is a rather general term that includes many different styles and individual performers. In fact, jazz has been declared a national American treasure by the Congress and is recognized throughout the world as a unique form of musical expression. Yet many people find it difficult to listen to jazz and to relate to what takes place during a jazz performance. The purpose of this video is to demonstrate and explain to you the basic concepts, techniques, and instrument sound you're likely to run across when listening to jazz. I'm excited about this program because hopefully after watching it several times, you'll begin to develop a better understanding, a deeper appreciation, and perhaps even enjoyment from listening to jazz. Jazz groups come in various sizes. Another name for a performing group is an ensemble. Small jazz ensembles usually consist of one to nine members. Large jazz ensembles or big bands generally have ten or more members divided into three major sections, brass, woodwinds, and rhythm section. The rhythm section is the nucleus of the jazz ensemble and consists of instruments that supply the basic rhythmic and harmonic drive. Common rhythm section instruments include bass, drums, piano or keyboards, and guitar. Sometimes other instruments may be included, such as vibes and various percussion instruments. Now, a close look at each member of the rhythm section, starting with the drums. The basic drum set is made up of a number of parts, such as drums, cymbals, and hardware. The modern drum set is really a jazz contribution. Around the turn of the century, marching or brass bands utilized a number of individuals to perform on bass drum, snare drum, and cymbals. Eventually, with the invention of a number of devices, one person could sit down and play a combination of drums and cymbals. The basic parts include snare drum, bass drum, tom-toms, hi-hat, and cymbals. The snare drum is an interesting drum because a number of sounds can be produced. Here's the typical snare drum sound, heard in marching bands and sometimes in early jazz groups. This sound is produced by metal strands of wire called snares, which vibrate when the top of the snare drum is struck. When the tension is released, a different sound is produced, more like a tom-tom. Again, with snares on. and with snares off. Another sound is possible when the stick is placed over the rim, which causes a chop or rim click sound. The bass drum also comes from the marching band tradition, but this time the drum sits on the ground and is played with the drummer's foot by way of a pedal. Bass drums come in various sizes, and the front head of the drum can be removed completely or left intact. Holes can be drilled into the bass drum head, and sometimes objects like pillows or blankets can be placed inside the drum to modify the sound. Tom-toms come in various sizes and can be mounted on the top of the bass drum or sit on the floor. These are called small or suspended toms. Toms that sit on the floor are called large toms. All drums can have their sound modified in a number of ways, by muffling or muting, and by adjusting the tension to change the pitch of the drum. Here the drummer will change the sound of the small tom-tom by loosening the tension of the head or membrane of the drum. A very important device to the jazz drummer is the hi-hat, sometimes called sock cymbal. The hi-hat takes the idea of marching band cymbals and places them on a stand, which is operated by the drummer's foot. Closing the cymbals tightly produces a chick sound. Closing the cymbals together loosely produces a splash sound. 
The drummer can also use sticks on the hi-hat cymbals. Here's what the hi-hat sounds like with the cymbals closed tightly. Cymbals opened lightly. Opening and closing the hi-hat. This is a unique sound which should be easy to recognize. Now the bass drum and hi-hat together. Cymbals are unique and considered by drummers to be their most prized possessions. Cymbals are crucial to the total individual sound of the jazz drummer. There are many types of cymbals and every type comes in a variety of sizes. One common type is the ride cymbal. A basic size would be 18 to 22 inches in diameter. In jazz, the drummer plays a continuous pattern on this cymbal called a ride rhythm. This helps to produce a swing feeling, which is very important to many styles of jazz. Cymbals can also be played near the center or bell for a different effect. Another common cymbal would be the crash cymbal. Just like ride cymbals, crash cymbals can come in a variety of sizes, 16 to 22 inches being the most common diameters. The crash cymbal is struck and left to vibrate or ring. There are many other types of cymbals a jazz drummer might utilize, like the splash cymbal, usually small in size. The sizzle cymbal. This type of cymbal has little holes around the edges with tiny rivets that vibrate, producing a sizzling effect. And many other types of cymbals. Drummers can use a number of implements to strike the drums and cymbals with, the most common being sticks, which come in a variety of sizes and materials, wood being the most common. Even the tips of the sticks can have an effect on the sound the drummer produces. Here's what wood tips sound like on the ride cymbal. Plastic tips on the ride cymbal. Brushes are another option available to the jazz drummer when a more delicate or light sound is desired. When played on the snare drum, a unique swishing sound is produced, which should easily be identified. This is common on ballads or slow songs. Brushes can also be used for faster speeds. Mallets are generally used for special effects on cymbals. Or on drums. Now let's see how the drummer functions. One important function is to help keep a steady time and produce different rhythmic feelings. One important style is called a swing feeling. Notice the ride rhythm played on the ride cymbal. The hi-hat is usually closed on the two and four beats. If you count one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The snare and bass drum are used for accents producing syncopations, a stressing of an accent where you don't expect to hear one. Also, the jazz drummer is producing four separate rhythms simultaneously. This is called polyrhythms. You should try and tap your foot or snap your fingers to see if you can hear the swing feeling. Ballad style. There are a number of Latin styles a drummer is expected to play, like the bossa nova. Notice the stick over the rim of the snare drum. The jazz samba. And a number of contemporary rock funk styles.
Drummers can also take solos as well. So to summarize, the jazz drummer can help keep a steady tempo or speed in a number of different styles. Make the rhythms exciting by using accents, syncopations, and polyrhythms, and provide interesting colors to the music. The bass is considered by many to be the most important member of the rhythm section. There are two basic types. The acoustic bass is known by many names, such as double bass, upright bass, bass fiddle, bass viol, string bass, etc. The acoustic bass is a large four-stringed instrument made out of wood. The instrument is common in classical music and many styles of jazz. The acoustic bass can be played two ways, with fingers called pizzicato, the most common approach in jazz. or with a bow. This is called arco. One common approach in jazz is the walking bass. The bass plays a tone on every beat in an ascending and descending manner, like walking up and down stairs. Notice how this swings. Try to snap your fingers or tap your foot to the sound of the bass. One reason the bass is such an important instrument in the rhythm section is because it has several simultaneous functions. Listen again. Notice the steady pulse or beat helping to establish the time and suggesting swing. Also, the notes of the walking bass line are suggesting the chords or harmony of the song. And a good bass line is like a melody. Since the acoustic bass has no frets on the fingerboard, slides between notes are possible. This is especially prominent on ballads. Various Latin styles are also common, like the bossa nova. and the samba. The electric bass is sometimes confused with the electric guitar. The electric bass generally has four strings, although five string models are becoming more common. The electric bass is played with the fingers, The arco style would not apply to the electric bass, but another technique is called the slap or funk bass. Here are some examples of various styles demonstrated with the electric bass. The walking bass. Latin styles such as the bossa nova.
and the samba. The bass can also take solos. In summary, the bass has many functions, rhythmic, harmonic, and even melodic. Now, a variety of styles demonstrated using the drums and bass. First, the swing feeling. Notice the walking bass line. Ride cymbal and hi-hat. Here's the ballad style. Notice the use of brushes. Slides between notes on the acoustic bass. Examples of Latin styles, the bossa nova. Notice the stick over the rim of the snare drum. The jazz samba. And the contemporary rock funk feeling. In this next demonstration, notice the slap bass. The acoustic piano is a versatile instrument that is capable of playing single notes chords chords and single notes an important concept in jazz is swing here's what a scale sounds like without swing feeling with swing feeling. Notice the difference in the feeling produced. Another important concept in jazz is comping, which comes from the word complementing or accompanying. Comping is when chords are played in a syncopated, improvised way. The keyboard family includes many different instruments, such as the synthesizer. With the advent of modern technology, synthesizers have made a major impact on all types of music. Here are some examples of various sounds which are possible. The guitar, like the bass, has two versions, acoustic and electric. Both generally have six strings. In the early days of jazz, the banjo was used by many jazz groups because of its bright, loud, and cutting sound. The acoustic rhythm guitar style was made famous by Freddie Green with the Count Basie Big Band.
Because of its volume, the electric guitar became common in jazz. The guitar can be played with fingers or a pick. The guitar can play single notes. Chords. And two notes together, one twice as high in pitch as the other, called octaves. Special effects or sound modifiers are now common with not only the electric guitar but any electric instrument. Here are some different examples. First, echo or delay. Chorusing. and phasing. The rhythm section will now perform some various styles together. One of the most important elements in jazz is improvisation. Some of the following music will be improvised or created spontaneously. The swing feeling. Notice the walking bass. Comping from the piano. Ride cymbal and hi-hat. stop and one member will play a short solo. The whole group then resumes playing. Ballad style. Notice the use of brushes. Arco technique from the bass. Latin styles. The rhythm section is joined by a percussionist and electric guitar. Bossa nova into a double time samba feeling.
Double time is a common technique when the rhythm section will play either twice as fast or the soloist will play twice as many notes while the rhythm section remains steady. See if you can notice the double time feeling. Double time. Contemporary style. Notice the slap bass and the difference between the electric guitar and electric bass. Now a look at some common brass instruments found in jazz. Many of the early brass instruments like cornets, trumpets, and trombones were common in brass and marching bands. During the early years of jazz, the cornet, a close relative of the trumpet, was widely played. The trumpet is a common instrument and has become one of the major instruments in jazz. An important concept relating to wind instruments is vibrato, a wavering of the pitch. Trumpet with no vibrato.
Trumpet with vibrato. Brass instruments will sometimes use mutes, which are devices placed inside the bell to modify the sound. There are many types of mutes, but here are three common ones. First, the cup mute. Next, the Harmon mute without stem. And the Plunger mute. The flugelhorn is now a common jazz instrument and looks and sounds slightly different from the trumpet. Here's the flugelhorn with no vibrato. and with vibrato. Because of its softer tone quality, the flugelhorn will generally not utilize mutes. Mutes and the use of vibrato are part of the personal interpretation and expression which is very important to jazz. The trombone was used in early brass bands and eventually became utilized in jazz ensembles. Notice the slide mechanism. Now the trombone with no vibrato. And with vibrato. Mutes are also common. First, the cup mute. Now the plunger mute.
There are many common woodwind instruments in jazz. The clarinet was used by marching bands and in many early jazz groups. The modern instruments are not made out of wood, but in the mouthpiece there is a small piece of wood, or reed, which vibrates when the player blows into the instrument. Clarinet with no vibrato. With vibrato. The saxophone family is a fairly new group of instruments invented around 1840 by Adolf Sax. The instrument is made out of brass, but in the mouthpiece there is a single reed or piece of wood. The saxophone was a late starter in jazz, but became one of the dominant instruments. In fact, the saxophone symbolizes jazz to many people. There are many members of the saxophone family, but the common ones include soprano, alto, tenor, and baritone. The soprano saxophone is sometimes mistaken for the clarinet. Notice the difference in appearance and sound. The soprano saxophone. The straight model you see here is the most popular. The soprano saxophone with no vibrato. with vibrato. Next, the alto saxophone. Notice its size and sound quality. Alto saxophone with no vibrato. With vibrato. Now, the tenor saxophone. Notice the medium size and its sound quality. Tenor saxophone with no vibrato. With vibrato. Next, the baritone saxophone. Larger in size and different in tonality. Baritone saxophone with no vibrato. Baritone sax with vibrato. Let's review the saxophones and clarinet. First the clarinet, then the soprano saxophone. No 
Notice the tone of the soprano saxophone compared to the cl clarinet. Next, the alto saxophone. Now, the tenor saxophone. Bigger in appearance, different in tone. And finally, the baritone saxophone. Larger than the alto or the tenor, and deeper in its range. The flute is another common woodwind instrument. There are several different types, but the common flute is demonstrated here. Flute with no vibrato. And with vibrato. This last section of the video features a variety of miscellaneous instruments that you might run across when listening to jazz. The piccolo is the smallest and highest pitched member of the flute family. Piccolo with no vibrato. And with vibrato. The alto flute is larger and deeper in tone quality than the common flute. Alto flute with no vibrato. With vibrato. Now a review of the flute family. First, the piccolo. Notice the size and the tone quality. Next, the flute. And finally, the alto flute.
bass clarinet is a member of the clarinet family. Notice its appearance and sound in relationship to the clarinet. Bass clarinet with no vibrato. And with vibrato. Now the clarinet again. Notice the difference in size and tone quality. All instruments, not just keyboards, are exploring the potential of electronic sounds. Another type of electronic instrument that jazz musicians are utilizing is a wind synthesizer that allows a woodwind player the ability to produce a wide range of sounds just like a keyboard player. Many special effects are possible, such as echo or delay. The Vibes, also called vibraharp or vibraphone, looks like a xylophone but sounds completely different. Notice the sound and appearance. The bars are made out of metal, not wood. The pedal is used for sustaining notes, just like a piano. <laughs> 